What's up, TTC? Maddie Boy in the house. Um, doing a follow-up vid. I mean, I've kind of been quiet. I've only posted one vid on here, so I figured I'd get my voice heard. Um, week one, win. Very nice. I like that. Uh, we embarrassed the 49ers. Um, you guys are just saying your team played shitty. You guys, you guys' team did play shitty, but you know why they played shitty? is because they came up and faced the Hawks at Quest Field. <clears throat> like I said was going to happen. False starts and sacks and interceptions. Um, I figured the defense would be the shining point. Offense, we have something to build off. But man, did we look good. Um, moving on from that. It's old news. Got Denver this week. <clears throat> and man, they're not a team to sleep on. But uh, they they got two different offensive linemen. I believe they're two rookies. One could be a rookie. One could be a second string. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe it's two rookies on the offensive line. Another great, great thing for the Seahawks. Um, D-line, we're big. <clears throat> we're going to push you guys around. We're not going to get bullied on the line anymore. Um, our corners are good enough to D up. Eddie Royal and Brandon Lloyd. Um, I think our receiving core as a whole is good enough to rip their secondary. I mean, Champ Bailey's getting old. Ryan Dawkins is getting old. They've lost a step. They're still really good players, but they've lost a step. I mean, and we're bringing a whole lot of speed. Um... But I, I, they didn't do anything on the ground running the ball at all. Um, let me switch around real quick. They didn't do anything running the ball. With our D-line, it's not going to change. You guys aren't going to expect to come in and <clears throat> run on us, even with Lawrence Maroney. It was a good pickup for you guys. Not the best back in the world, but solid, solid back. Um, very strong through holes, can punch it in the end zone if you need it. But, anyways, <clears throat> I, I like this matchup for us a lot. Um, I think we come out with a W, not by much, but we come out with a W. And hell, we could be 2-0 and in this division. 2-0, and I think Atlanta's going to drop the ball. Or, excuse me, Arizona is going to drop the ball. They play Atlanta. Um, so they barely pulled one out against the Rams. I, I just don't see them pulling one out against Atlanta. And the 49ers, they play the Saints, need I say more. Um, if you got 49ers, you're crazy. That would be such a good upset. I mean, you guys are a good team, but I just don't see you guys pulling the win out on New Orleans. Not after what you guys showcased against us. Um... <clears throat> Let's see here. Is it just me or every time I drink Coors? I pictured those commercials <clears throat> and that dude with the amazing voice just Coors the banquet bear. I wish I had a voice like that. It'd make my videos way more entertaining. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, uh, but yeah. I mean, we can come out and we can come out swinging, man. Two and zero, everybody one and one, or excuse me, San Fran zero and two, and Arizona one and one. I'm not even worried about the Rams this year, not yet. <clears throat> and uh, I mean, we can take a hold of this division. I mean, if you guys watch San Diego play against Kansas City, they just look, they look terrible in my eyes. I mean, miscommunications, couldn't play with the crowd noise. <clears throat> the wide receivers act like they've never seen rain before in their entire lives, slipping and sliding all over the field. Um, this is ridiculous, man. So I pray for rain week three. And with our crowd noise, I mean, hey, San Diego gets off to a slow start every year. I like that. So hopefully we can sneak the win there too. 3-0, and man. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is a little quick vid. Uh, I want to let you guys know my voice is still being heard. Uh, but anyways, Matty Boy, out.